Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. This is Michael Mail with Affiliate Rookie where I show you great ideas and great tools to grow your online business or even to start one. So today we're going to look at a platform called ConvertKit. ConvertKit will allow you to do automations for your email marketing. It will allow you to create landing pages as well as newsletters and other features as well. So what we're going to do today is we're going to dive in and look at these features and see if this platform will work for your business okay so if you like this video hit the thumbs up and if you want to see more content like this video hit the subscribe button so let's dive in and take a peek at convert kit and see if this platform is good for you okay so before we jump into the dashboard i want to show you something that might help you get some good tips on how to use convert kit so at the bottom of the main page if you go all the way down there's a icon um a thing here called workshop Workshop is going to allow you to get some information on ConvertKit. It's going to have some live workshops. It's going to have some in-demand workshops. It's going to have some technical uh, tutorials that teach you how to do step-by-step -step of certain things in or how to build your list or any information you might need to use ConvertKit to motivate you to create great landing pages. They have a workshop. Then it's really good because they're not going to leave you hanging and not just here's the platform and that's it they're going to give you some more information okay so fyi if you're just getting started out check out their workshop and see if there's some information that will help you setting up your um convert kit as well as getting some information on maybe some tips okay so let's jump into the dashboard okay so this is what the dashboard looks like it's going to be an introductory video by the owner he's going to say hi and tell you what's going on and how the platform and also it's going to have some update tips here at the bottom as well on the dashboard Okay, on the side here, when you go in here, you're going to have some checks, um, check marks you have to go through each step by step. And if I'm mistaken, they give you like a free t shirt after you've done all that check marks. Okay, and this is what the dashboard and in the dashboard, they have sus um, subscribers, they have an automation tab, they have a landing page and, and form tab, they have the broadcast and products. And then if you go over here, to your profile and click down arrow you have your profile you have account settings you have general emails where you put the email set up your emails um payout if you're getting paid so you want to you can set up your payment paypal or stripe your billing information to put your credit card information you can also add team members and then you can refer people to this they have a referral program which like again um it's they have a different lot of different features when it comes to the platform we're not going to go into depth and about all this i just want to show you some of the stuff that they have and they have some email templates you can use as well okay so what i want to do is i'm going to show you the features of each individual features here and we'll go into it and i'll show you so we're going to start with the subscriptions this is where you're going to add your list okay so if you're in um not in grade if you're migrating from another platform you can actually from like mailchimp you can bring over your list now the great thing about this is that convertkit is really good on sorting based on tags so for instance if you have a list of like a thousand people or more and say 200 of them um, you want to put on a separate list for say your Facebook you don't have to remove it and put them on another list you can actually tag them for Facebook so when you go in and sort emails that you want to send out to those people for Facebook you can just basically sort it through tags boom and you can send out those emails okay so again ConvertKit is really good about when it comes to using tags to sort your list so that way you don't have multiple 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 lists and that's one of the features that they have okay and when it comes to your automations they have um automation sequences where you can set up all your automations you can set up your um automations your sequences your rules your rss feeds and integrations and we'll go more about the integrations in a little bit so this is when you set up a new automation it's going to be here on this dashboard and the thing about ConvertKit, they separate everything into its own section. So if you are a person who's very organized and don't like everything to be cluttered, this platform might work great for you because you can actually set, put everything in one section. So for instance, this is the automation section. All your automations will be here. If you have your landing page, that all landing pages will be there and so on and so on and so on. Okay. So let me show you a little bit about the automation. We're not going to go into depth, but I just want to show you some of the things okay so when you create a new automation you have two options you can create a brand new one from scratch or you can use their templates i want to show you what their templates look like and, and a lot of people i think will use the templates and they can edit the templates to fit their criteria 
But, um, not, there's not really a but, it makes it easier for you. So if you're doing a newsletter, you have a template for that. If you're doing an evergreen uh, product, you have like a subscription, set, you have that. If you're doing a webinar, you have that. You have these different type of templates to start out with. And you can preview them very simple by clicking the preview button, okay? So let's do, let's look in um, a webinar. And let's use this one. So it's going to bring in the webinar template, okay? And you would go up here on the side here to edit it. You can edit the what you can edit and give it give it its own name, okay? So you can just give it a name, okay? So when it comes to the templates, it gives you all the information that you need when you're using it for whatever you're using it for. So for instance, this one is a webinar. So you have your your webinar launch, um, op, um, page that where people will um, see where the web about the webinar, and then you have your opt-in page, and then they will get an email welcoming them to the webinar, and most likely the link will be there, and then there will be another link where people can see if they haven't signed in. I mean, sorry, where the webinar is going to be at, and then you'll get an uh, email which you can send out for the product that you're offering them. And then what you can do is you can, if they haven't opened that, you can send out another email and so on and so on. And if you're a person, again, who likes everything neat and, and, and like to see a workflow, this is a simple, simple workflow for you. It's very simple and easy. Now, you don't have to use everything in this template. You can go in here and edit. So for instance, say you sent the pitch and some people opened it and some people have not. You can always go in here and click on this and add another um, condition or action or event right here as simple as that so you know this this basically gives you the templates are there to help you set up stuff a lot easier that's what these templates are for again you can edit any of these for that fits your criteria okay so we're going to look at the landing pages okay so when it comes to landing pages they have quite a bit of landing page templates again your landing pages are going to be here when you create them okay so let's jump in here So in the landing pages and um, forms, you're going to have two options on this, okay? So if you've created a landing page, let me go back here quickly. Let me show you real quickly. When you create a landing page, if or you have not created, you're going to have created up here, and then you're going to have option doing a landing page or, um, sorry, a landing paging or a form, okay? So when it comes to landing pages or forms, you can click on that. Let you take a peek at the forms, and they give you some. In, they give you some kind of like templates of how you want the forms to look like. If you're going to put it on, say for instance, on your website, if you're going to put it on the bar, top bar, you can do different type of landing pages. So it's going to give you that option. So you click on that real quick here. Sorry, your forms, your forms. So these are forms where you can embed these forms onto your websites or, or even onto outside landing pages and stuff like that. So you just basically choose one of the templates that you want and you're good to go. So you just click on it. And then you can go in here and you can edit any of these criteria. You can add pictures to it. You can edit these any way you want to use them for. And after you get done with it, you can just hit publish and then you can use it, okay? So it's very simple and very easy to do. They allow you to just basically click on it and change any of the stuff around that fits your criteria, okay? And then you can just hit save or publish or whatever you wanna do, okay? Okay, we're gonna leave that and go back, okay. So once you've created a form or landing page, it's going to put it in here, it's gonna tell you what it is, okay? Now, on your landing page and forms, it has data. So it's going to give you how many people have clicked on it, how many people subscribe. It's going to give you that data right here. And then you can sort the data through the time, the date, the month, whatever you want to do. Or you can do old to new. Or you can set it up to look at through here the long way in, in like in a um, list. Or you can do it in um, a column, you know, like a, I think it's like a column they call it and stuff like that. And you can also check your... Um, go back and see if anything if you put in our cards that you're not uh, our cards if you're not using anymore you can go back and check that okay so again it gives you some data on how and you can see on each form or landing page you know visitors subscribers and and, con and conversion rate on here so it gives you the breakdown for each individually one okay so that's what it is so let me show you what a landing page looks like real quick as well give me a second okay so 
And in the landing page section, it has a bunch of templates too. Again, you can edit any of these templates. They have templates for events, links, news plans, and so newsletters, podcasts, products. So there's multiple landing pages. Again, you just basically choose what you want and you can edit them as simple as that. As you can see, we'll preview this one. And they also have where you can see if what it looks like on mobile. Okay, so you can click on mobile and you can see how it looks on mobile as well. Simple and easy. Again, these pages are templates for you. You don't have to use everything on them. You can just click on it and you can edit them very simple and easy. We're not going to go in depth on how to edit. I'm just telling you that you can do that in this platform. ConvertKit allows you to do that and you can edit anything that you need on those templates. Okay. All right. So let's go to broadcast. <clears throat> okay. So broadcast again, your stuff is going to be here. Now, the great thing about um, the broadcast area I think that a lot of people like is that it has a workflow. So when you create your draft, as you can see, this is a draft, it has one draft. And then once you complete your draft to the next stage, after you do that, it's going to show it's been, it's being processed. And then it's going to show if it's being, it's sent in the queue. So if you have multiple broadcast emails, it's going to show that's in the queue. And then it's, just, it's going to show complete. And that's simple as that. It's nothing fancy. It's very simple and easy. It has a simple workflow and simple as that. So let me show you what it looks like inside a broadcast real quick. So this is your broadcast. You basically choose what you want, give it a name. Oops. And then what you do is you put your, 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 your email, your, your content here, the email information, and then you can hit preview if you want to preview, and then you hit continue. And then you can go in here and add your email information and all that good stuff to where you, where you want to send it from. Um, and you can actually add your list in here and all that good stuff. So that's what a broadcast looks like. And again, it's very simple. They don't make it very hard. And if you need information on how to do anything in this, there's a lot of videos. Again, in this, in, um, if you go to the workshop, there's a lot of videos in the tutorial that teach you step by step on how to do a lot of things in ConvertKit. Okay. And again, as you can see, it's in a, it shows two draft because I didn't complete it, but it shows it right here. Okay. Let's check out the product section. Now the product section is where you create your products and you allow to sell products. Some um, platforms don't have this feature or you have to get thrive cart and then use the automation platform to sell any products. ConvertKit has that feature built inside and this is one of the features that they have. So it's very simple and very easy. So let's jump in here and I'll show you what how the products looks like. Okay, when it comes to setting it up. It's very simple, you give it a name, you have your standard, which is a one time payment, if you're just selling maybe an ebook and you're selling one time, or maybe you're doing some courses, and you're selling um, subscription based, so they pay every month, or you can set up your payment, you can set up the price point how you want to customize maybe some of some of your courses that you out buy right away, and some of subscriptions, and then you can put the price. It's very simple and easy and has it like again, they have a workflow for you. So once you get done with that, you can go fulfillment, you can upload the, the documents and the products in here as well, and you can upload up to 500 megabytes per document. So, but you can also link stuff to outside like a Dropbox uh, or a Google um, Drive and stuff like that, which is with the integrations, which I'll show you in a second. And then you can add a domain name. So if you have your own personal domain, you can add that in here and you can give the product its um, name as well, okay? So that's what, that's what the products look like. Again, once you create a product, it's going to be in your dashboard with the products right here once you've created it and stuff. Okay. So let's talk about the integrations. Okay. So they have quite a bit of integrations as you can see. And if you don't find something, of course, you can use Zapia, you can use integrator. There's a different type of this, this probably like four or five different type of integration platforms that allow you to integrate with other platforms. But they have quite a bit of integrations. There's Stripe, there's Zapier, there's Listgold, 
there's quite a bit of them in here so all you gotta do is just click if you have an account with that platform you click on it and you can actually just put the ap code if it is or set it up and it should show you step by step on how to integrate this it's very simple and easy and if you got an ever like if, for instance if you have an easy webinar account you can integrate that as well you have a wish list you can do that as well for membership all that and you can also integrate other platforms with this as well like Kotra and stuff like that so as you can see all of these um, integrations they have and they also help you out if you have Zapier and this is one thing that I think will help a lot of people who are not very familiarized with how to set up integrations they also have some quick um, integrations for you so like Facebook they have um, type forms they have um, Squarespace they have PayPal they have um, subscriptions to um, convert kit through your calendar so they have it set up already so you just click on it and you can actually um, go right to your Zapier account and, and set this up right away. They make it very simple and easy. Again, the integrations is huge. They have a lot and they're probably adding more and more and more. And another thing you can do is you can, if you need to look for a certain integration, you can just put in what you're looking for and search it or search it by what kind of um, platform that you're looking for. If you're looking for a CRM, if you're looking for a giveaway or a scheduler, just click on it and it'll, it'll separate everything and tell you what they have, okay? And again, you can use Zapier to integrate some other platforms they may not have or any of the tools like Zapier to integrate your um, ConvertKit with, okay? So let's talk about their roadmap. And you know I love to talk about roadmaps, okay? Because simple fact is that tells me they're keeping up with the updates they're doing more with the platform the platform is not here today and gone tomorrow so they have a roadmap and this is where you can see all the new updates and i do like a platform that does have that because that again that tells me that they're not going away tomorrow or today and looking at this platform it has they invested a lot of training for people to learn how to use the platform so me i think that if a platform is going to do that then they really putting some effort into it to make sure that this platform is strong, okay? So again, they have a roadmap showing you exactly what they do. And another thing, you can do A and B testing on the emails as well, okay? So let's talk about the nitty gritty, what we always love to talk about. Let's talk about pricing, okay? So their pricing is very simple. They have a free plan which is zero and you get up to a thousand subscribers and you get unlimited landing pages and forms. You get to send email broadcasting and you get to send digital you get sorry you get to sell digital products and subscriptions and you get email support so if you have email uh, need help you get email support now if you are trying to get take a uh, um, take advantage of the automation you're going to have to upgrade your plan to the creator plan which is $29 a month and that's up to a thousand subscribers and you get everything in the free but you get additional you get to um, use the free migrate from another platform so if you coming from say MailChimp you can um, use the free migrate and also with the creative plan you get the automation funnels and sequences okay now um, if you are need a little bit more they have the creative pro which is $59 a month for a thousand subscribers and you get everything I just said on the last two plans but the difference is you get the newsletter reference sequence system you get the subscriber score and you get the advanced reporting so you get more in depth about how your um, funnels are doing how your emails are doing you know all that so you get more advanced reporting so what I showed you earlier there's a lot more in depth they'll give you if you have the pro version um, creative plan for $59 now if you go all the way to the bottom of this you can set this up to s based on your subscription list so if you have say 5,000 just remember it's gonna go up a little bit more and for instance, you cost, you know, the free plans only a thousand subscribers up to, but it's $79 for 5,000 subscribers and $111 for 5,000 subscribers on the pro plan. Now, you know me, I love, I always talk about saving money. So they have the yearly plan. Okay. So for the yearly plan, you're saving quite a bit of money. So you pay $66 a month for the creative plan for up to 5,000. And then you have 700 and it's $790 a year annually. And then um, the pro version, you save a few dollars here and you, it's $93 it comes to, and you pay $1,110. Now that's just with 5,000 subscribers. You, you don't have to have just 5,000 subscribers. You can go down and do, it goes from um, one to three thousand and up okay so if you have less than 
you know, in between 1,000 and 3,000, then this plan, you know, here you go, and that's $490 a year and $790 a year. Again, this is based on your subscription and your list. So if you have quite a bit, these are what you So if you're going to use this platform, go down here and see what it's gonna cost you every month. So that way you know if it's if you wanna do the monthly plan or you wanna do the, plan, uh, the, the yearly plan, okay? Which is annually, okay? So again, they have a lot of features. I, this video is, is going to be short. I just want to show you the features of this platform, okay? So if you like this platform and you want to give it a try, they do have a trial um, to try out the other plan, the creator plan, and the pro plan for 14 days. But if you just want to try out the, pl um, the um, platform and you just want to use these features here for now until you need to grow up, um, go up these features, then it'll be a, it'll be free up to a thousand subscribers. So if you're just building your list and you need a platform that's good, maybe this platform will be good for your business. Okay. So if you like this platform, there will be a link at the bottom of this video. And FYI, I am affiliate with this platform. Okay. So I would get a small commission and that will help my channel grow. So like I said, this is uh, just a video on convert kits features. And I'm not going to go, like I said, I didn't go in depth about how to do every single thing. Okay, so if you like this video, hit thumbs up. And if you want to see more videos like this, please subscribe to the channel. This is Michael Mail with Affiliate Rookie. Thank you for watching my video, and I will see you on the next one. And you have a great day. Bye.